Hey guys, big welcome back. Today I'm going to be flying my new uh, Phantom 3 drone from the shores of Lake Ontario in Burlington. And I had uh, been driving down the road and I spotted a ship that had been anchored down. And I thought, hey, you know what? Go grab the drone, let's go check it out. So this is actually um, a different version. I've uploaded just a version of 1080p with, uh, with some music and which was a nice relaxing flight out and you know just for fun then i thought i'd like to upload a second one of the telemetry so first off i'll let you know that this is recorded with a program called az screen recorder it's available free on the uh, play store um, i don't think you can use it on apple products but it's on the android uh, google store and it's a pretty good program easy to use and I just you have to edit out the uh, you know the start and finish if you want, but um, other than that, whatever. So I know a few people are wondering how I record this video, and uh, so that's it. And it's this is just to show you guys in case uh, you want to see what I'm looking at on the screen while I'm flying. This is what I see on my Android device. I'll also mention that I had been getting some choppiness and the app had been, uh, the DJI app actually had been freezing up on me and stuff and video loss and all that. Um, so this particular flight, I put it into airplane mode and that way I wanted, I wanted to try and it actually, this was eventless. Uh, everything was fine. The app didn't crash. My phone didn't get as hot. Um, so I, th I think just with the DJI app running and the screen recorder, it's a, it's a lot of pressure on the phone. I am using a Note 4, and I, I've noticed that other people are having problems with Samsung products as well. But uh, I just wanted to mention that. Also, I'd like to mention to anyone that uh, is thinking of getting this drone or has one or whatever, is that when, you, uh, when you're finished flying... For my for my case anyway, I need to close out the app. If I don't, if I you know if I don't actually hold that close out button and close all my running processes, then my battery will deplete very quickly on my phone. So go ahead, put it to airplane mode when you're flying. As long as you've loaded your maps, you'll still get the map. Um, that seems to work in the bottom right. You see that I had the map there, and uh, it was running. Um, You'll notice I got a little bit of a glitch in the HD link there. Not a problem. I don't know why. These ships have a lot of, uh, you know, signals and stuff coming out. So maybe something with that. Um, but other than that, the video feed is pretty, pretty good. Um, if you like, if you want to see the nice version, perhaps go and watch the other one with music. It's going to be 1080 and uh, you don't have to listen to all my uh, gabbering on and whatnot. But anyhow, we're going to come in for a bit of a look at the ship. Um, at this point, I was still a little nervous because I'm I'm still very nervous, actually, about delay in the video. There doesn't really be, seem to be very much, but I'm always, you know, kind of, well, what if? And so I think it's smart to keep your distance first for a minute, you know, make sure that, yes, obviously, I really am at this distance. Because um, even if there was a delay, I would notice the delay in going left and right, not forward. So, um, anyhow, so that was, I was able to tell that I, you know, that I, I was having good control and that there was very minimal delay because it's responding with the inputs from the sticks. So, uh, something to keep in mind when you're flying though, you know, don't just fly up and think you're going to fly, you know, three or four feet away from something without stopping first and checking. And it also, it takes a second for the brakes to work on the drone. Um, yes, I said brakes. Uh, for those that don't know, this drone is pretty well equipped with brakes, meaning that it, when you, if you're flying full speed and you stop, it seems to tilt in the opposite direction, like to try to stop. So it does stop pretty quickly, but it, you know, if you're full speed, you're going 50 kilometers an hour almost, you do need a bit of room to stop. So here I'm doing a bit of a distance pass by on the ship. Unfortunately, I never did a, um, a top-down view. I didn't think of it till after. Um, it would have been really cool had I, but um, you'll see now I go a little bit closer here and uh, trying to have a good look. I was hoping to see people on the ship or something, but they, um, my guess would be that they're on a skeleton crew and that the uh, the workers maybe have are off on shore leave or something while this guy's waiting to fuel up. That or they're all just downstairs playing strip poker and uh, whatever. I have no idea what they were doing. But I didn't see anybody out on the deck or uh, at the bridge, so I'm sure somebody's there. 
but uh, definitely break time or something. No workers out and about. No smoking. All right. So we're going to just do a little pass by here. And a little pixelated, but that's uh, that's all right. It is what it is. I was able to fly close enough. Mind you, I was very nervous. But to do that little uh, pass over and... Uh, that's it. I didn't want to bother these guys too much, so uh, we go ahead and head back to the park. Now you'll see on the bottom right hand side, it does leave, I've got it set up to leave a trail of where I've been, and the yellow line indicates the trip home. Uh, I know that you can shut off the uh, white lines for the where you've been. I'm not sure if you can shut off the yellow line or not, but you can actually just get rid of the map entirely by clicking on it and it'll drop down to the corner. Or you can make it so that you're looking at complete map and the camera feed is just on the bottom. Um, but for me, that would be pointless. I'd rather see what my drone's looking at so I can just kind of keep an eye on it, monitor the situation, make sure everything's going all right. So you can see that I've been, uh, you know, I had that pretty good flight out there. Um, what I didn't even see, whatever, however many feet, 6,000 feet or whatever it was. Um, video signal loss again at that's about the same spot I'm gonna think um, that it happened on the way out so there uh, there's definitely some NASA radar stuff going on out there who knows but uh, we're gonna continue back to the shore following the yellow line and I kind of end up actually going off track a little bit um, it's you don't notice because the yellow line stays going in a straight line but I'm actually flying in the wrong direction a few degrees but I get back on course and uh, make it back to the park with uh, back to safety and um, that's it what are we so we're 31 meters per second I don't know what that translates back to in uh, kilometers per hour but that's a good little speed anyway I'm not I don't think I'm going full throttle here you don't see the uh, the props so Oh, but I might be angled down a bit too. I don't. I don't remember if I tilted the gimbal down. Well, I probably did, but I may not have tilted it back up. But uh, I can't. I can't tell you how much I love this thing, guys. You know, I started with the uh, the Cheerson CX20. It did a flyaway. The whole flyaway thing aside, I did love that drone. That was, you know, it's a great drone to learn on. You know what? For they're down to like 300 bucks now. So you know, on a for budget friendly drone you can't go wrong for the uh, for the money but by the time you had a gimbal and a GoPro memory card and that and uh, you know it adds up so if you're really gonna be serious into it you may just wanna skip it and look at buying one of these it's uh, 1500 bucks well spent um, and I really enjoy it and I'm hoping to bring you guys a lot more videos so uh, just getting ready to uh, drop it down here in the park and uh, call it a day. It was just a real quick flight. It was kind of a misty day. It wasn't a, it wasn't a really nice day for flying. But uh, thanks for joining me, guys. I'm hoping that you'll subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like I said, I plan on bringing you lots of videos and um, anything cool, I will upload it. Click that like button. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.